Good morning, everyone. Well, it's going to be a warm one for the end of November today, but we are getting a cold front in the late afternoon, early evening, and it's going to lead to a big change in temperatures for tomorrow. Let's get started at 8 a.m. this morning, though, and this is how we know it's going to be a warm day because these temperatures at 8 a.m. in the upper 30s and low 40s, these should be our high temperatures for this time of year. Instead, we're starting the day in the upper 30s and low 40s. Lots of clouds, but not much rain. Got to mention a chance for a few showers, mainly in the southwestern part of the area, but I think most of us are going to have a dry morning commute. Now, I do see a better chance of rain during the late morning and early afternoon, but but even during this period, we're talking about isolated showers with the best chance to the north and west. So I do think some are going to be missing out on the rain during the late morning, early afternoon, especially the farther east you live. Uh, that's actually a warm front that's going to be working over us uh, during the morning hours today. Uh, so that's bringing us this first small chance of rain. But then the cold front is going to be pushing in and it's going to keep the rain chance going. But at 2 o'clock, uh, the cold front on our doorstep, but not here yet. So we will continue to warm. And notice how the rain mainly going to be in the northwestern part of the area. But when we jump ahead to 5 o'clock, notice how there's more green showing up. So there is going to be a period during the late afternoon, early evening hours with scattered, mostly rain showers, though you will notice that shade of pink showing up. There could be a brief period uh, as the temperatures drop with this front where a few flakes come down, but it's not going to be much. And there's a decent chance it may all just stay rain. The temperature's not dropping fast enough. Um, before we dry out. So it may stay all rain, but at the most, you're, we're just talking about a, a few flakes of snow uh, as our temperatures come down. Uh, certainly at 5 o'clock, not going to be seeing snow in Madison because look at the temperature, still 50 degrees. So I do think the vast majority of us are going to see highs in the upper 40s, low 50s today. Not feeling quite that warm because it is going to get breezy this afternoon, guess around 25 miles per hour, so a bit of a wind chill factor, but nothing compared to what's coming for tomorrow. And let's keep an eye on temperatures and how they are going to be dropping uh, during the evening hours. By the time we get to 7 o'clock, rain chance probably over with for Madison and areas west. And look at that temperature coming down 44 in Madison and 35 in Dodgeville. Rain chance continuing for a couple more hours in the eastern part of the area. But I do think by 9 o'clock, rain chance over with for all of us. And look at the variation in temperatures 9 o'clock this evening. So the front will probably have just cleared the Racine Kenosha area and so the temperatures will probably be about to start dropping at nine o'clock but there could be this brief period where it's going to be about 25 in Barroqua and still sitting in the low 50s about nine o'clock right next to the lake but look at that 33 in Madison and everyone is going to be cooling down tonight don't think that you're going to escape it in Milwaukee or St. Kenosha. Notice you will be cooling down into the mid-20s very late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Most of us in the low 20s, and we might even see the upper teens in a few spots. And the problem is the winds are only going to be picking up as the night goes on. And eventually, very late tonight, early tomorrow morning, winds are going to be gusting around 35 miles per hour. So when you head out the door early Wednesday morning, look what it's going to be feeling like. It's not going to be feeling like the 20s. Look how a lot of folks in the central and western part of the area, we're talking about feels like temperatures in the single digits. And at the warmest, the warmest spot, feeling like 13 degrees in Kenosha early Wednesday morning. And uh, Wednesday afternoon is going to be quite different from this afternoon. These are our high temperatures for Wednesday afternoon. And we're talking about mid to upper 20s for most of us right next to the lake maybe reaching the low 30s, but that is it. But it is not going to be feeling this warm because it is going to be windy throughout the day. We're going to start the day windy in the morning. It's going to stay windy in the afternoon. In fact, in the afternoon, I think we're going to see gusts around 40 miles per hour. So you can almost call it very windy to go along with these cold temperatures. So look what it's going to be feeling like Wednesday afternoon. This is as warm as it's going to be feeling. We're talking about feels like temperatures no warmer than about 18 in Kenosha and most places seen uh, temperatures lower than that. So planet not feeling any warmer than the teens on Wednesday.